All right, so welcome to the course. I'm going to start with a little bit of an intro to the course and what our ideas are and what our goals are for the semester. Um, so this fall at Binghamton, we're teaching a, a very unique course. It's called Evolution for Everyone. Um, it's cross-listed as a biology course and anthropology course. And the main goal of the course is to take the theory of evolution, which is often treated as a biological theory, and expanding it to all the other disciplines that deal with living things, which specifically are human-oriented. And I'll introduce them to EVOS. Evolution for Everyone is the opening course to getting an EVO certificate, um, a certificate in evolutionary studies, which is a program in the school that includes um, many courses that are evolution-oriented from different human-related disciplines, um, ranging from psychology to anthropology um, to even the School of Management and um, Human Development. And so we have all these courses, and students can take these courses and earn an EVOS degree or EVO certificate alongside their standard major. Evolution for Everyone is a course that I initially taught as a upper level course and, and, and um, that's not unique. Many uh, numerous uh, universities have uh, people such as myself who have started to study some aspect of uh, humanity from an evolutionary perspective and as part of creating the program I altered that course to be a 100 level course and to be as large as possible so that this uh, unique way of, of uh, learning about evolution could be introduced to more people earlier in their academic careers. And so that became Evolution for Everyone, a very popular course, the enrollment kept going up and up, and it became the basis of my uh, book, Evolution for Everyone. And then on the basis of that success, uh, Dan O'Brien, my graduate student, started to take over the course. Um, students seem to really enjoy the course. Uh, they really enjoy the exploratory nature of it. Um, the final project is a poster project that they, uh, they choose a topic early in the semester where they basically have to ask the question, what would I like to understand better from an evolutionary perspective? And it can range from, I mean, there's definitely every year a poster about jealousy in dating. Um, and there's also other interesting ones ranging from trying to understand baseball in terms of cultural evolution or um, how people behave in um, role player games like um, World of Warcraft from an evolutionary perspective. Uh, people trying to understand dance, trying to understand laughter, all of these things. And um, they spend a lot of the semester, a lot of their assignments are very free form assignments that say go develop hypotheses from an evolutionary perspective on this topic and what you think the relevance of laughter or dance is. And by the end of the semester they produce a final poster project where they propose novel research about the topic, research that's never been done before. Uh, the program, the whole program started to replicate like a robust organism. Uh, other universities became interested. And at this moment, uh, groups of faculty at over 40 institutions worldwide, not just nationwide, but worldwide, including uh, Iceland and Portugal, are uh, seriously thinking about starting EVOS programs of their own, including Evolution for Everyone courses, which are taught, uh, which can be taught in a coordinated fashion. So when you heard Dan talk about giving experiments, uh, doing experiments with the students uh, in his course, uh, just imagine that those experiments might also be done worldwide and all of that data being fed uh, through the internet into our database and then next week the students in all of these different courses reconvene and hear the results not just about themselves but about people across the world. 